happening today, putting an end to an epidemic before more people die. That is why Congressman Charlie Chris will be in town tonight talking about teens stealing cars. It's an issue that we've seen turn fatal in Pinellas County. Amanda Shivari is joining us now from St. Petersburg College Midtown, where the Congressman's Roundtable will be held. So, Amanda, the teens involved in these crimes are no strangers to law enforcement. Gail, that's right. The teens involved in the most recent crash were arrested a total of 126 times. What happens later today in the building behind me can really impact everyone on the roadway. The trend deputies are seeing teens stealing cars, using them to commit other crimes, then running away when deputies spot them, putting everyone on the roadway in danger. Earlier this month, three teens died in a fiery crash after deputies say they were driving in a stolen car and speeding at more than 100 miles per hour. And in March of 2016, three teen girls were killed in St. Pete when the stolen car that they were in crashed into a pond. In both cases, teens had lengthy criminal records. Here's the sheriff talking about the three teens that died just two weeks ago. He calls them prolific offenders. One of the kids, one of the deceased kids that's sitting in that car across the street has, still has gloves on his hands. From doing the car burglaries. One of them got out on, got, got released from the juvenile detention center on July 31st, steals his car on August 3rd, and this morning he's dead. And this is why Congressman Charlie Chris will be stepping in, talking with teens, asking them how to stop this scary trend. He says, quote, to truly enact change, our youth must be part of the solution. I look forward to hearing from them directly on how we can work together to do just that. The roundtable will be tonight here at the St. Petersburg College Midtown. Again, we've spoke to the sheriff about this many times. He's been very vocal about this. One thing he always says is that he feels that the juvenile system is broken. So, Gail, it'll be interesting to hear straight from teens tonight about how they believe the system and this trend can be fixed and stopped. You know, I'm glad that the sheriff is just putting this out there, so hopefully we get some answers. Thanks, Amanda.